Got about two weeks, so I have to take it back out again for our next trip. Well, my next trip, closing weekend for the Renaissance Festival. Uh, we're expecting some rain in the next couple weeks, possibly while I'm out there. So I'm going to actually try and get some stuff painted, see if I can get the roof of it actually sealed up real good. Let's try to. And yeah, just some little tidbits here and there. So let's go ahead and get started. Well, I got the top off, started looking up here, and let's see, it's going to be a little hard to see, but we've got ourselves right there, right there, and right there, place where the, I guess it's swelled up or something. And uh, started leaking so I think I figured out that that's definitely the spot where it's leaking on the driver's side everything else looks like it's pretty good up here yeah I'm pretty confident with the rest of this but just right there is probably where it's leaking through All right, well, I got up here. There's a couple spots that look a little thin, like right there. This is on the front. Kick out here, along this edge here. Right, right there, there's a gap. And further on, there's another gap right there. And after inspecting it, I found a bubble, which I then peeled up. So now I gotta wait for this right here to dry out completely. I cut off all the affected area. And as soon as it dries out, I'm going to go and hit it again with the bed liner again. Hopefully it'll stick this time. It won't stick right now as this is moist. This has come up. I cut away some of the stuff that was pushing up on it. Some of the warped stuff. But otherwise it looks mostly undamaged. Just a little bit of soggy. I'll throw some glue in here as well. But, uh, so yeah, I found all the leaks. So, good news, bad news. Good news I found it, bad news there's leaks. All right, after doing some poking and prodding, I ended up peeling back quite a bit more than I thought I was going to have to. But I did end up finding all of the stuff that was loose, and I will be able to repair it, hopefully. All right, well, I decided since I found that big glaring problem that I'd inspect the rest of it. And passenger side, right here near the rear, next to the window. Another spot. This guy was not there a couple weeks ago. I'm going to rethink whether or not this was a good idea with the bed liner on the top and sides. figured it'd be all right, but... Having doubts. About to start painting on the camper. And I find this guy right next to it. Don't let its cute fuzzy exterior uh, fool you. This is an asp caterpillar. It's for a moth. These bastards here, when you grab a hold of them, I've been told it feels like you broke your arm. That's how bad the pain is on these guys daughter grabbed one a couple of years ago and we had to take her to the ER so be forewarned these guys are terrible
Well, found another one. Right there. One up near the front. So I'm really hesitant on how well the bed liner works on the corners. Figured once everything started, you know, shifting around from driving down the road that it might actually have caused a couple places to rub loose enough to make a crack. A little bit of water gets in there, swells it up a bit, make better height bigger. Uh, I put a big, pretty thick coat on all the seams, every place I could find a hole. Um, should be doing another coat tomorrow, but as of now, I gotta let it chill out, dry out, finish up. We're supposed to be getting rain in the next couple of days, so I gotta recover it after today. Uh, but other than that, I mean, I've resealed it. I've got a worst case scenario that I can do at some point if I need to with some aluminum trim. There's some silicon in the joint. Hope it doesn't come to that, but I have a plan B if this doesn't work. At any rate, that's going to do it for this time. Thanks for watching.